let's get going. Okay, no bias, but no. yeehaw you. Ah, uh, no bias, but no kill. No All right, so for some context, you see the T and shoot on tags. Do you know by chance why there is a T and shoot on tag on some NorCal players? I absolutely have no idea. Well, at Double Down, uh, there were some very good players that this team managed to take out at Double Down. Did they? This team, A3K and Salt Lord, beat T and Shuton in really? doubles in a game three set. Both games having uh, having T and Shuton. I'm sorry, having one of them take on a 1v1 against one of the Japanese players and it ended up succeeding. So that's great. Yeah. So at they've taken the title. They have taken they have taken some big names, but right now, the first stock being taken by the Ewa boys. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You can never you can never sleep on these Ewa <laughs> Bismuth and Cattail. Bismuth beat like I wanna say recently, but it was a few months ago. Winning uh, uh summer State. Yeah. The Western Washington Cafe qualifier. Full stocks flying up. Yeah, right there. It seems like Warrior is really such a strong kill option against these lighter characters like Pop. It's gonna get us off early. That was that upbeat from the pyro was almost enough to kill Cattail there, but unfortunately it ends on top of the platform. But it's on the downer is gonna connect. Finally, there goes that stock. You line up solidly. Yeah, a, a little bit of a lead. I'd say it's about even right now, though, after, the, after a couple little exchanges. One thing we saw a little bit ago is we saw the, the, the combo that we're going to be looking for a lot in the set. It's when when T, aka HBK, grabs the, grabs the opponent, gets a down throw, and then Salt Lord is going to be looking for that. And if you get a down throw to Julie Buff, oh, no. oh, unfortunate kill. If you get a down throw to Julie Buff, Julie Buff is entirely invulnerable during that. And she can just. You can just Absolutely murder someone as Pyro. Oh, the team kill! Or your teammate. Oh, oh the team man. kill! That's so unfortunate. Only at like 70 ish percent dying to like, what I think was a Mithra ass smash. Mithra ass smash, yeah. That's, I mean, when you're caught, you can't, you can't be getting hit by stuff like that. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but you gotta roll with it. Oh, the shield break comes Yeah, pro this. probably not gonna matter too much. It's one of the things about doubles is, you know, you get a shield break, it looks cool and all, but 90% of the time, your is gonna be there to help out. Yeah, just really good bomb from Cassio in that instance. Save Bisman's potential stock. I don't know. Like, even if that stock had been taken, Cattail still had another That's the thing. That's the thing. We just saw it again. Uh, you, get, you get grabbed by Julius, uh, you get killed oh by Pyro. Oh, and now we're looking at a... And a 2v1 here for, for Shuton, aka Salt Lord. And that's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard hard one to uh to come back on. I mean Cattail and by themselves absolute fiend, but you know, Fizzman on a full stock, yeah, that's rough. And I mean, like, you you can never count either. You can never count Pyro. I mean, if you whip it up here like that, you're gonna want to stay We're staying here. to win this, uh, you know, just DQ'd straight up. Yep, Luis said double DQ'd already. They're out of the tournament, but now NorCal's uh, remaining hope is still in, and they have some work to do as they are behind versus the Ewa team of Fizzman and Cattail. Fizzman plus friends. Yeah, so I wanted to point out the fact that we went from the Puff last game to the Rock this game, and I think that makes a lot of sense. Like, the combos that you were pointing out, they were going for the Puff. We only really saw that happen once. Like, twice? Okay, not it's bad, okay. Not 
but uh, maybe they think they can get something a little bit more consistent with the Robin. So you can still do that with Robin. Robin uh, down there does the same exact thing. So it's, uh, not, it's, it's totally fine. It doesn't last quite as long, but it's pretty close. Yeah, right now we're seeing a double ledge trap from Iwa team. Both sides of the stage have uh, have dark out players on the ropes, but they're able to return back to neutral. Still beat a ton of percent though. This is difficult to come back, come yeah. back from, but if anybody can do it, it's Pyro. Uh, absolutely. I mean, but you've got to be really scared of this triple digit damage. Oh! My work. Was that a... I don't even... Yeah, so there was a, ba a back throw from Rob into a... Uh, into a, a comp, sorry, a back throw from Pyra into an outsmash from Rob. Oh. But then, then Cattail just jumped over and forward, forward aired, uh, oh. you know, the follow up. Oh, okay, I see. I see. That's okay. Double is hard to keep track of. There's so much going on on the screen. And right now, Jump is caught for Shuton, but oh. Tall Lord is going to be able to get out of the corner fine. But on the other side, H3K losing their stock to Fizzle. So I'll point out that. That was the first stock. Okay. I was about to say we only just now got the triple digit damage at all for Ewok and then the stock. Yep, yep. It happens. Okay, one thing I wanted, I wanted to point out, uh, I talked to Fizzman earlier. A lot of Robs absolutely hate, uh, sorry, a lot of, a lot of uh, Schultz absolutely hate the Rob matchup. Fizzman thinks it's like basically, basically even if not only slightly losing. So, I can see it, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's, it's interesting because you know, that's the least favorite matchup for a lot of Schultz players, but now we're seeing the Rob versus the Schultz, which normally, you know, normally when we see this counter pick, Fizzman doesn't care as much. I mean, we don't have a ton of Rob players, and when I say a ton, I, I mean, we have one. Yeah. Who's like, sometimes we are dead. Like, they don't even play Rob that much. I think I'm so. Ah, yes, I see. Like, we don't have a lot of Rob experience here, so that just goes to show how adaptable it is. And, like, just how good it is. Okay, but the NorCal team evening it up, taking two stocks at the same time. Oh yeah. We've seen this rotor arm just going to work. <laughs> it's putting in and putting in the time, the nine to five, and it is taking so much already. Three stocks dead to the rotor arm. The, the final hit of that up being max on the drop somehow. The field going down at just the wrong moment, and now he's fine. He's fine. He's fine at uh, 110 for now, but like one more interaction. Yeah, getting a board air right here in the corner would definitely do it, but it seems like Rob is able to return back to neutral. See, okay, nice protection of your partner there. Oh, 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 the stage, stage bike doesn't get the tech, and I believe that's gonna be it for Salt Lord's last stock. Gonna have to share stocks with H3K, who's gonna have to be so careful, and he's dead. He's gone, man, and now it's once again the same situation as last game 1v2, Mithra versus. Toon Lincoln Joel? The friends. Mithra versus the friends. Mithra and the friends. <laughs> but I mean, this is this is a little bit more doable than the last situation. Now he's at 32% versus last time he was at like 80 or 90. So there's there's a chance here, but it is it is a small one as back throw into up air and Fizzman Cattail clearly having their combos practice. Yeah, it's significantly more doable. The problem is you're still fighting against three stops. Right. So it is not easy by any means. Yeah, you get ass smashed there. We're going for a full jab. Got to go for a general there. Come on, Salt Lord. You know better than that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, the nice board little, air off stage. Little tinder switch. Yeah.